How we doing today everyone? Welcome back again to the Watchtower. I'm up here logging in from Monitor Duty and today I'm going to go over week two of Sideshow Collectibles Online Comic Con. So, jumping right into that, we only had two reveals this week for DC Comics stuff. So the first thing right now is this Joker premium format figure. This is based on Heath Ledger's performance with the Joker and uh, from The Dark Knight. And we've had a few um, Heath Ledger pieces from Sideshow over the years. And a lot of other companies right now are doing Heath Ledger Joker stuff too. There's some busts and stuff coming out. Um, but this is a new one. This is him sitting down in the, in the police cell after he gets captured um, halfway through the movie. Uh, he's, sitting, he's sitting down on the, on the bench in the police cell. He's got the bars and everything behind him. Um, I like this one more than the first uh, PF that Sideshow released. Um, this one, I just like it better. The other one um, wasn't really like a scene from the movie. It was just like their own interpretation. It was kind of, but, but this is legit. This is a scene from the movie. So I like this one. Um, I like how... I don't know. If, I don't know if this is part of the statue or not. But these the bars behind him and everything. If, if it is, that's going to be a really cool little like to make it look like he's in the cell and everything. I hope that is. That would look really cool. Um, I really like this piece. Um, it's not something I would pick up because um, even though the, the Dark Knight is my favorite comic book movie of all time, or really my, my favorite movie in general of all time, um, I only collect comic book pieces. I don't collect anything movie or video game or anything like that. It's all comic book. So while I think this piece is really cool, it's not something that I'll pick up. But for anybody who isn't interested in it, this goes up for pre-order on July 17th. So next week. No price yet listed for it, but um, you know, if you're a Dark Knight fan or just like a Joker fan, this would be a good piece to add to your collection. And then the second and final piece this is not, uh, this is not a statue or anything. This is, uh, no, they revealed another art print. And this is Alex Ross's Perfect Alliance print. And it's a deluxe fine art lithograph. And this is really, really, really cool. So it's got, like, the entire Justice League on it, on this panel. Um, it looks like... It looks like the exact full page spread from the comic book Justice that he wrote, or not, not he wrote, that he, that he painted that. So it looks like that same panel. I don't know if it is or not, but it looks like it. It's pretty close. It's got all the same characters and everything. So, um, except it has Phantom Stranger in it. Alright, it has Phantom Stranger in it. It's not. Phantom Stranger wasn't in that final battle in that. So, probably not from that, but it looks really close. Um, I like this a lot. Alex Ross, of course, anybody who's in comic book and stuff is just a legend and one of the greatest comic book or illustrators in general out there, painters. So this is a really cool piece. Um, it's going to be pricey. Uh, probably probably two, three hundred dollars if that's anything based on previous works. Just unframed. Frames going to, you know, four or five hundred dollars framed. So, it's going to be pricey, so I don't know, while I love Alex Ross stuff, I don't know if I can afford, if I can justify spending that much money for an art print. Even though it is great, and it's just really beautiful. But this, the framed version, goes up for sale uh, next Wednesday, July 17th, and it's got um, a white or a black frame option, and it's limited to 175 pieces worldwide, and then... If there's any pieces left, Unframed will be offered July 22nd. So, that, this is a nice piece. Um, I don't know, we'll have to see what the price is before I decide whether or not I'm going to pick that up. But, probably not. Alright, so, that has been it for this week of Sideshow's online uh, Comic Con, DC Comic Product Reveals. Uh, like, not a whole lot this week compared to last week. We got one more week of it, 
Um, hopefully there's some more DC Comics stuff. It feels like it's been really light, mostly Marvel, but hopefully there's some more DC stuff this last week, because I want some more DC stuff. I need my DC stuff. But anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you the next time that I log in for Monitor Duty.